Well, hello everyone, welcome back to Side Quests. It's a bright, shiny new day here in the ancient ruins of Rao. Let's go exploring! The sun is shining... I think. Can't really see it from here, but the birds are... Birds aren't chirping. Haven't heard any birds in a while. And the men are bugs. Great place. Let's go. Lots to like. So... I guess we can just go across here. I think we've covered all this... fairly thoroughly. Yeah. There is that, which we can maybe ignore. Um. Uh-oh. Whoa. Either it didn't quite reach me or we were just perfectly in the eye of the tornado there. Can we do that again? Hey, do a cool visual. Um, it's less impressive that time. Come on. Pyrotechnics, go! Okay, well. It's just as well I don't have any cool, like, entrance music or anything either. I'm a little worried for us. If I hide behind this... It does not work. I see. Hmm. Well... We'll try again. Maybe if we're quick it won't have time... ...to firestorm the bridge. Excuse me, ghosts. You're probably going to want to move. Wait, this is... Eh. This is fine. Right? Good? Yipes. Yipes. Very intimidating. Hope you can't aim that down here. Nope, just the, uh, just the old classics. Time to move! Yeah. Are you following me? Buzz off! I was enjoying not fighting you guys for a change. I think down there is where we... Well, maybe. Maybe not. Where did we warp to? For that random duel. From the, uh... Bell Tower thing, well, wherever it was. Um... Excuse me! That's what I get for trying to ignore it, I guess. Clearly, if you ignore these, they will not go away. And so now we have to show it what happens if you don't let us ignore you. Let's get our runes first. And maybe something a little heavier to hit it with. If it's going to be this way about it. Y 
Your legs don't look especially armored this time. That's good. Okay. Goodness. All oh, right, 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 right. Multiple steps. Multiple stompies. How did that miss? Come on. Yeah. Sloppy. Sorry, Torrent. Yeah. Nope, not quite falling over this time. Eek. Jumped a little slow there. Ah, come on. Yeah, whatever, I'll fight you on foot. I've had better luck with that anyway. It's not exactly the big heavy weapon I'd prefer. Be fighting you with, but... We'll make it work. Probably shouldn't try to just jump over that one. Just block, honestly. Yep, yep, yep. In the likely event that this attempt doesn't result in a win, I'll come a little better specifically geared up for this fight. Falling over? Not quite. We have too much health. Whew. Hold still. You know, I don't really feel like brute forcing the fight right now. Yeah. Don't really know if it's going to let me ignore it. Probably not. see where else we can reach around here. Whoop. Nope. Not the one that needs knocking over. Where's the one that needs knocking over? Hmm. Still not ignoring me, I don't think. At least there's some good cover in here. Um, hmm. What about this way? Yeah. yeah, I feel like if we're going for a real attempt on that thing, I would set Latena up, like, in these woods somewhere. Or somewhere higher up where she couldn't quite be reached as easily, unless she was just really being specifically targeted. You know what, heck with it. It's gonna be a lot easier to explore over there with this thing dead. Let me get kitted out for a fight specifically with this thing. Excuse me. Okay, okay. 
And I'm going with the big swings. We got the big shield for as much fire damage negation as possible. We got the flame, the fire drake talisman plus three for even more of it. Where would be the best spot to set Latena up for sniping? Like, she's definitely vulnerable here. Ooh, if we could get her... Ooh, okay. If we could get her set up underneath cover? But still with an angle on this thing and far enough away. That could be interesting. Okay, not allowed here, but where? What if... Is there anywhere around here? Or maybe... Potentially. Move. Eh. Like, here is not going to be invulnerable, but... Hmm. Don't know if it's going to give her enough of an angle on this thing. Ouch. Yeah, I think she's going to have better luck, like, up and back here, maybe. Or even further up the hill. And then I'll be over here distracting it. It's kind of fun, figuring out where to place your sniper. Okay. And I'll get out my big magics. Don't think I'm going to use them much. I think I'm going to mostly try to use the weapon skill on this sword. I feel like those kabooms might do some good damage. Or at the very least, some decent poise. Trying to knock it over here. Eh, not amazing. Try to block. Pretty decent. Minimize the damage a little bit. Wish I had a better answer for what to do with this thing specifically, but... Lieutenant, are you shooting it? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Getting in some little hits. This is going to take a little while. I'll be with y'all in a bit. Ah, okay. Dang. I am kind of determined now. I do kind of hate this thing and I want it dead. So I'm going to figure this out. I might go back to the hammer. Not really sure which is doing better stagger build up between the two, but hammer's a little faster at least. And then I might not need. It's possible I could. Where's the one that boosts jump attacks? It's still heavy load though. There we go. It's got to be something with a little fire defense on it that... Eh. Sure. It's possible also, if I can find the spirit spring, I wonder, like, if I can get higher up. If I can get that spirit spring unlocked and get a little bit higher up, I wonder if it might try aiming that big vortex thing at me and possibly opening itself up to throwing some fire jars from a little higher up. 
Perhaps. Maybe. Oop, can't go that way. The Tenna will despawn. Don't need that. Oh, some of those are going for her. I better be a distraction. Definitely stay close, or Latena's doomed. Now! Ah, oh, I'd even gotten it knocked down once, and below half health. Oh, I hate this thing. Feels like there's gotta be... Hmm. What is going on in there? I've lost interest in fighting that thing. I do want it dead, and I feel like there's got to be, like, a smarter way to kill it. But doing that on repeat... ...gets a little tedious, especially for how... ...many of these there are. Some of them, obviously, you can shoot hoops with, which that mixes it up in a nice way, at least. But I don't really feel like doing that... ...jump to dodge the stompy fire, hit their feet... ...rinse and repeat... ...a couple dozen times. Yeah, I usually don't do this, but there's enough of them to fight. I'm actually going to look up. Is there, like, a smarter, faster tactic for fighting those guys? Because I'd love to find out if there is. Ooh, okay, okay. So... It's, like, the tactic I'm doing is basically the way you do it. You try to, like, attack the legs enough times to stagger them so that you can go in and get a uh, big visceral attack, critical hit thing on them, and you'll probably have to do that at least a couple times, most likely to fully defeat them. Uh, so really, just the tactic is all about trying to, like, break their stance as quickly as possible, which is mostly what I've been doing. I did see it recommended, though, that Pest Threads, as an incantation, can actually do a lot of, uh, kind of like posture damage to them fairly quickly. I am curious to see if that works any better than the uh, jumping attacks. I wonder. It is more damage regardless. At least a little bit. Yeah, that does rack up a little faster. It's something. I'll take it. That might do it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that is just a little faster. And boy, it feels good. Having that nonsense out of here. One of these episodes, I'll go back and... clear out the other two we kind of left back in various places. Another time. Let me get my gear back to normal. Excuse me. Okay, we're back in business. And I think next we should go in here. Unless, here, well, let's check along the ledge here, just in case. I don't think there was more to see over here, but... Nah. It does stay dead, right? 
Okay, good. Because I was hearing sounds and... Really didn't want it to not stay dead. Anyhow. What is going on? Whatever that is, it's very cool. Nope. Nope. Dog. Stop it. I don't know what this weirdo spell is they're casting, but it's very interesting. So weird. Run! Haha! Ow. Wonder if I can get that spell. There's all these little bouncy spells. Ah! What was that? Oh, goodness. Okay, now this is... I already know I want to be contending with both of these simultaneously. That's too much. No. Okay. Now we can duel. Yikes. Hey, when did you learn spells? Nope. Gotta stop being greedy with the guard counters. That's the moment. There we go. No thank you. Now then. If people are done skipping fire spells at me, we can have a look around. Excellent. Hmm, there's a bigger one. So the jump is right around here, if I can just find where the stack of rocks was. Hmm. We might find it further up where we're exploring now, but we may have to go back looking if I missed it. Glad I took that thing out, though. It. Oh. Oh. I was going to say, else it would have, uh, no doubt continued to be some sort of hassle. I mean, if we're trying to find the silver lining here, and I think we have to work very hard to try. <laughs> At least we're not getting shot by giant arrows and pelted with fire. Huh? Could be worse. Should probably fight this guy. Maybe fighting you from range with spells is not the smartest. Stop kicking me. Okay. What is this in the center? Is another one of you? Yeah. Hey, could you come over here? 
out of huge arrow range, maybe. I'll play Frisbee. Come on. Frisbee. Yeah. No one can resist the Frisbee. Oh, no. Yeah. Ow. There we go. Huh. Tense out here. Hmm. Something about the prettiness plus the level of danger makes this feel like we found the DLC's equivalent of the Halic Tree. Can't wait to meet the local millennia. That's something for us all to look forward to. But yeah, I feel like the Furnace Golem would have continued being a butt shooting fire at us up here if we had not taken care of it. So that feels like that was a smart move. In the long term. Hmm. Dogs. Blood fiends. Bad dog. Bonk. Nah. Don't do that. Or that. Getting greedy. Oh, you're a sturdy one. Do you mind? Yeesh. They're getting intense out here. Blood fiends are kind of everywhere, it feels like. I've got more of a presence in this realm than I expected. There's another one. Might as well. Hey, some of those flowers, though. So we might learn some of what was going on down below underneath the bridge. Some of the stuff that sort of, like, spilled its way down. Might run into some more little red pests, which that part's not great, but... Maybe we'll learn something interesting. Or die a bunch. Or both. Eek.
I see the enemies have voted on both. Guys. Goodness. That is enough. Yeesh. There's the blood loss. And they're powered up by it. Not ideal. Whew. They are not pushovers out here. Very hard to push over. I'm actually going to unequip this so I can just cycle between these two a little faster. There. Finally, a fight that went entirely my way. As planned. What's down here? Can't tell if I've been to that part. I don't think I have. I haven't. Wonder how you get down there. I also wonder if I want to be down there. Maybe that's the better question to be asking. Do we even want to be down there with whatever else happens to already be down there. Like, we could probably jump this. And probably survive it. But why, though? Let's continue being up here. For now. For as long as we're allowed. Because, yeah, it's bad up here, too. But we're at least becoming familiar with all the ways it's bad up here. This is more of a known quantity. There's value in that. Hmm. I've changed my mind. Never mind. Down there sounds good. Although, through there is probably how we get down there. Yeah. That probably is. Dog on it. Fine. Do your worst. As if you have any other mode. That's right. Frisbees. I bring frisbees out. There's one. Now for the rest. Hey, we found the rot area. Happy day. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Ah. We've gone so long without seeing Scarlet Rot out here. So long. And now we found it. Torrent, please help. Sorry, I'm making you walk through this, but... You can withstand it a lot better than me. Let's deal with this. 
Nope. 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 Eh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that's a new thing. I'll read about it when I'm not standing in liquid death. That's so many of them. Oh boy. Well, we can pull them one at a time at least. Catch. And that does some pretty good damage too. Granted, they're just gonna reply with their own garbage, but... Nope. I refuse to talk to you out there, you have to come over here. Out there's where all your backup is. You can't fool me. I'll just snipe you some more. Ha ha. You're sniped. Nyeh. Need more FP. To snipe. Nope. There. That's how this works. We're fighting smarter, not harder. And not always smarter. Come here. Me dying and not casting that terrible stuff everywhere. Okay. Two remain. Right? Yes, two. Two is not so bad. Quick. Quick. Oh boy. Oh no. Oof. Cover. That almost went sideways. But we're fine. Okay. I think there's just this last one now. So I think we can just ride up on this one. Yeah. Hold still. Stop being awful and hold still. Or at least just hold still. You know, just do either one. Either one. There. Huh. The stress has begun to skyrocket. They're worshipping Melania here too, yeah? I assume that's who that is. It makes a kind of sense, like... This DLC is... all about Mikola. And Melania is very, very relevant. As a character, it's hard to think of another character more relevant to Mikola than Melania. Even if we already fought Melania, like... It makes sense that she would have a presence in some way... ...here, too. Even if it's just her followers. Hefty rot pots! Huzzah! And scarlet buds, a large rotten bud that will never come into bloom. Grows in lands blighted by the scarlet rot. There was a time when these buds were not touched by the scarlet rot's blight, when they were the symbol of the small church deep in the ancient ruins of Rao, which I'm guessing is the church of the bud. And no bud of mine, I can tell you that much. Where are we? 
Here, okay. Here and overlooking what I am increasingly thinking is going to be Rotland. Possibly one of multiple, but this seems like... Seems like this is where the rot is gonna be. Maybe. Yeah. There was an elevator back in here somewhere. Sorry again about having to run through this torrent. We'll wash off your hooves later. Here we go, here's this. Huh. Not what I expected, but honestly... Not really any better. You'd think it would be better. Nope. Still a rot swamp. Stop. 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 Doing and being. Anything. Two more that way. Intriguing, but also scary. Let's go around the side first. Okay. Nope. You come over here. I know there's another one over there. Yeah. A little frisbee, perhaps. Or rocks. Could stagger them. The rocks are good at that. Pest Thread Spears. My, my. That's a thing to read about when I am confident we are not in mortal peril. Catch rocks! Yeah! That's a spell to be using against these things. But speaking of spells. Skill of the pests known as the Kindred of Rot, now wielded as an incantation. Secrete numerous sticky threads, then twist them into two spears launching frontwards, charged to enhance potency. The pests are abandoned servants, and it is for this reason that they found a mother in the Saint of the Bud. Oh, good. 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 Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait to meet the saint of the bud. I was not prepared for what I was in for coming over to this little stretch of land west of the castle. I thought this would be a little reprieve. But no. Exact opposite. And boss room. Awesome. Okay. Well. I am concerned. Grateful for this, both of these, they may be desperately needed. 
But, um... Maybe let's go ahead and use some rune items and just... What was that? That was a cool looking fire spell. Did I not read about that? A wall of sparks, ash of war. That's cool. How long ago did I pick this up? Gracious. Scatter perfumed powder in vicinity, producing intense sparks after a brief delay. Can be charged to increase power and range. The properties of the sparks are determined by the perfume bottle use. That's rad. Like, it's not really making sense for my general build currently, but I love that you can do, like, a proper perfumer build now. That's so cool. But yeah, let's see if we can get a level or something. That might be enough. Didn't check the number. Yes, perfect. Good. Good. Getting closer to 50. Well. I'm very afraid of what's going to be in there. Let's... It's very dark. Let's... At least be able to see our killer. Oh, dear. Oh. Hey, look who it is. No hard feelings. Thrilled to see it. Please help. I really don't want to go in there. Uh, can I afford to also... Yeah. Excellent. Just increase options in the arsenal. And why not before we go in? I don't know how long this lasts, but... Dane, hold still. There you go. Okay. Here goes. Gah. Romina, Saint of the Bud. Looks... like... the perfect midpoint between... Gorgeous and horrific. I can't seem to hit you right now. I guess it's because you're hitting my counterpart. Oh, you. What's even happening? Whoa. Help. Bad. Very bad. Help. Lots bad. Happening at once. Okay. Ow. Really does look amazing, though. Like, I do hate it, but... Goodness. This might call for some kind of fire. Ow. Please, no. Hurts. This is gonna take some tries, I think. Hey, nice. Thanks, Dane. You did great. That's so little damage, considering. Yeah. Everyone rolls. Nope. 
Ow. See you, Dane. Thanks for trying. Kind of starting to figure out you out a little bit, but I think we could be better built for this fight. And I really worry you might have a second phase. What an amazing thing, though. No, okay. Whoa. Whoa. That's so cool and scary. Whoa. Goodness. Gracious. What a cool spell. Meh. Yeah, it's a first attempt. I feel like this is going all right. It is pretty incredible, like, how... Yeesh. Like, how beautiful and unsettling this is at the same time. Yeah, Don't like that. Now? Ah, dang. Yeah. No thanks to that. Okay. Okay. Well. Good news. I've figured out what we're doing tomorrow. Poof. Well, I'll try to put together a plan of attack. Join me tomorrow for the immediate failure of my plan. Goodbye.